The highest temperature ever measured in Britain was recorded at Heathrow Airport this afternoon. It reached 37.9 degrees Celsius or more than 100 Fahrenheit, breaking the previous record set in Cheltenham in 1990. Our correspondent Daniel Bircher is at the Met Office in Bracknell. Daniel. In Bracknell. Daniel. Well, yes, they've been watching these screens here very intently all day, and it became clear from mid-morning onwards that these high temperatures would be reached. It's here from the control room at Bracknell that Britain's hottest day ever was officially confirmed. It has already been an exceptional summer, but today temperatures soared higher than ever before. Each passing day of this heat wave has made record temperatures more likely, and it happened this afternoon at Heathrow Airport, west of London, the first confirmation of a new high. 37.4, so we got the new UK record. OK, then. Thanks a lot, then, Terry. Other weather stations have now also broken that record, forecasters watching with some satisfaction. There's, a, there's almost a suppressed little cheer, a very quiet little cheer when the record broke here in, in the operations centre. Um, we believed it was going to happen today, and it happened today, so we, had to, we took some professional pride in that. The old record was set in 1990, 37.1 Celsius in Cheltenham. At Heathrow today, it hit 37.4, and later, at 37.9 Celsius, broke the 100 Fahrenheit mark for the first time ever. Current measurements go back 130 years. There hasn't been a hotter day in Britain in all that time, and some of those monitoring climate change are worried. It is part of a general trend, and you can see it over the last few years quite clearly, and that is that the world is getting warmer, and that uh, human activity is mostly responsible for it. So is all this really evidence of wider changes? No, we would say it has nothing to do with global warming. There have been heat waves in the past and the average world temperatures have gone up in the last hundred years and that is correlated best with particles from the sun. Today's records have caused other problems, the high temperatures triggering thunderstorms and flash floods here in Manchester but also in parts of Scotland. So Daniel, how significant do the forecasters think today's record is? Well, they certainly do think it is significant. The previous record was not just nudged, it was actually comprehensively broken. And it wasn't just this one place, uh, Heathrow, that recorded these kinds of figures. Other monitoring stations have since been reporting back similar kind of statistics. And uh, it's also the fact that uh, these records go back over 130 years and they haven't recorded anything like that in that time. That's why they believe it's significant. Also, this 100 Fahrenheit figure, certainly when that was confirmed here at the control room mid-afternoon, there was a, a flurry of excitement here. But at the moment, Heathrow may still lose those honours. Not all of the figures are in yet. There's hundreds of stations that actually feed into Bracknell here. All of that goes into computers like this, and they monitor all of that data. Not all of it is real time, so it's still coming in as we speak, and they think that they probably won't be able to get an accurate picture until about 8 or 9 o'clock this evening. So there may be somewhere in Britain that was actually hotter than Heathrow, but we will not know until later on. As far as uh, the temperatures for tomorrow and the rest of the week go, they do believe there will be more hot weather, but it will not be record-breaking. Daniel, thank you very much indeed. Radical changes topped the previous record with Heathrow, the hot spot reaching 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But the heat wave has culminated in some really severe thunderstorms and for parts of England that risk it continues through this evening and overnight. Torrential downpours, hail and gusty wind. The most severe storms right now are through the Midlands to Lincolnshire and the Humber and we've got more now starting to develop across the Channel heading towards South East England. And this band of rain behind me, well that's a weather front and as that pushes across the land and the heat that will develop into some nasty storms for the West Country through this evening. Expect some torrential downpours which will then move through the Midlands and into northeastern England overnight, perhaps even the borders of Scotland. So humid and thundery in the east as well as misty and foggy overnight and still pretty humid as I say, 20 degrees the low in London. But to the northwest of that, a little bit of mist and fog for Northern Ireland and Scotland, but much, much fresher, more comfortable for sleeping. And here it will be a bright start to the day as that early morning mist clears. But elsewhere across many parts of East Wales, eastwards, quite a sultry morning, coastal and hill fog around and some sundry rain. And there could again be some severe slow moving thunderstorms, I think, in eastern parts during the day tomorrow. Still the oppressive heat here, some coastal fog too. Much fresher further north and west, but 
just to reiterate, some severe storms through this evening and overnight. And even though we lose the humidity next week, actually we will keep some British summer sun. Bye-bye.